Hey everybody, so welcome back. Um, today we are going to make one of those set it and forget it meals. Today we're going to use the crock pot. One of the best kitchen tools anybody could ever own because when you're busy and you've got a million things to do, you can you can put that food right in that crock pot and go about your business, take care of the things you need to take care of. So, um, I'm going to show you how to make uh, like a beef stew uh, with vegetables. Um, it's going to cook for about six hours and it's going to be super hearty. And um, I, I think you're going to really enjoy this. So um, what we're going to do is uh, just take a look at our ingredients list and then I'm going to put everything in the crock pot. You're going to see how completely easy and foolproof this is. And we're just going to go take off and do many things for the rest of the day. And uh, the house is going to smell great. You know, all of these delicious scents are going to start billowing through the rooms and uh, it's just going to be really nice. So anyway, without further ado, um, we'll get started. And again, this is some of our uh, leftover donation from Tony. So thank you again. Uh, we're still enjoying that pumpkin bread from last night. So all right, here we go. Okay, so let me show you what we're working with today. We'll start out with some of the spices. Um, these three things here, we're going to use one half teaspoon of each. So we have some Italian seasoning, some onion powder, and some garlic powder. So half teaspoon each there. Um, the salt and pepper, we're going to use quarter teaspoons of those two. Um, we've also got some chicken broth for some flavoring. You can also use chicken stock or beef stock or beef broth. Um, this is just what I have handy, so I'm going to use that today. Um, we've also got two cups of water. And then we've got some vegetables. We've got um, a large yellow onion, carrots, and celery, and potatoes. So I'm going to use about five potatoes. Um, uh, these things are going to be cut up into large chunks so that they uh, don't completely fall apart in the liquids um, in the slow cooker. So I'll show you those uh, chopped up in just a minute. And finally, the star of the show is um, our chuck roast. And this is uh, also called pot roast, as you'll see on the label. Um, so this was kind of a more expensive cut of meat. It was not on sale. Um, this was about $20 at Publix, but uh, we wanted to go ahead and make this recipe. So we picked it up. Um, it's just going to be completely, completely falling apart fork tender once we get it out of that crock pot. Um, it'll take between five or six hours in my crock pot to cook on high temperature. Um, you know, so we'll just check it, you know, I'll, I'll check it, um, to see if it, if it seems like it's done. Um, your crock pot may be different depending on temperature settings and things like that, but this is going to be absolutely delicious. And, um, I'll go ahead and, uh, show you some of the tools we'll need to make it happen today. One thing I just wanted to point out real quick is that this is a two pound um, a piece of meat. So, well, 2.14 pounds there. So just wanted to point that out. Um, the recipe calls for like two to three pounds for the pot roast. And sour cream would be a really nice garnish for this and maybe just a little bit of parsley on top. That will just top it off. Okay, so obviously we're going to need our crock pot. And I will tell you, um, you can get one of these on online for, you know, probably in the $40 range. But um, I actually bought this one, we got this one years ago from Goodwill, and you can still kind of see where the where the sticker was on the front. <laughs> but this thing has just been going like a champ, knock on wood. And it's been, you know, just, we use it constantly. So um, we're going to pile everything in there in just a minute. Um, the meat will be on the bottom layer so that it's covered by all the liquid. And um, uh, if you need to put more liquid than what's on the recipe, that's fine. You just want to make sure the meat's covered. Okay, so I just have a few little things I brought over. I've got our cutting board, um, sharp knife and some tongs that I can use to kind of mix things around um, when I need to in the crock pot. 
Uh, we've got our measuring spoons and cups, um, some small little things to hold the spices, and just a, a large bowl to hold the chopped veggies. Also, if you decide that you want to peel your potatoes, um, I'm going to do that today. Uh, just grab your vegetable peeler. You'll need that. Okay, so our carrots are in the bowl. They were already cut. Um, I broke off a few of the celery stalks. I'm going to cut these into similar shapes and sizes and put them in the bowl. Okay, so we've got some celery and carrots and... Um, I just chopped up these potatoes, so I'm just going to throw them all into the bowl as well. So again, they're large chunks. They're just all going to jump into the crock pot together. I'm going to chop up this onion, and we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I'm, a, I'm on my last little piece of onion here, so I'm just taking off the skin and that back piece that's kind of rubbery that you don't want to eat. I'll throw that in the trash. And um, I'm keeping these pieces really large and um, just doing a quick cut down the back and then one right down the middle. And like I said, these are going to be large pieces of onion uh, that will break apart. But Okay, so those are all the vegetables in the bowl. Okay, so I just lifted the pot roast out of the container and put it in the bottom of the crock pot. So just remember to take the little uh, piece of the bottom of the meat, uh, it's like plastic, uh, make sure you throw that out because there's usually this little thing hiding under there. It happens with all kinds of meat, chicken or pork or beef. So just make sure you throw that out. I'm going to add my two cups of water. Two cups of our chicken broth and again you can use chicken or beef just going to add some flavor and that meat is pretty well covered so it looks like we won't really need any more liquid okay here we go with our spices italian seasoning and we've got onion powder we've got garlic powder those were half teaspoons each. Then we've got quarter teaspoons of some pepper and some salt. All right, we're going to mix that up real quick. Okay, so I gave that a quick stir. Now I'm just going to add my veggies in there. Okay, vegetables are in there. I'm just going to put our lid on top and we're going to get this cranked up too high. Oh, there we go. And again, depending on uh, how many pounds of meat you have and you, the, you know, the strength of your slow cooker, um, you're going to be between like five and six hours to cook this on high. So a uh, few more hours than that, probably around like eight hours if you're cooking it on low. And now we can do whatever we want. What do you want to do, girl? You want to go to the movies? I didn't see the Barbie movie yet. You want to go check that out? <laughs> Think of all the things that you can do while you're cooking dinner at the same time. It's a beautiful thing. So you're going to love this recipe. All right. We'll be back in a few hours. And we're back. It's been about five hours. Look at how nice and juicy everything is looking in here. Oh my goodness. Woo. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And it just makes the whole place smell amazing. And it makes you so hungry. You just can't wait. You just can't wait to dig in. So I'm going to just take a look in there, see how that meat looks. And we may be ready to eat in just a few minutes. So I broke up some of that meat that was on the bottom. And you can see how, how nice and juicy and tender it is. And... All you need to do is grab your bowl and fill it up. This is this is ready to go. So let's dig in. So I'm gonna take a bite and try this. Um, Emma, so have you seen the Barbie movie? Did you guys go see that? I, I haven't seen it, but I guess it's not really new anymore. I was thinking about that earlier today and I thought you're probably busy watching those 
ghost shows you like anyway now this time of year getting close to Halloween and everything but let's see how we're doing get some of that sour cream on there mm-hmm that will be one of the easiest meals you ever make you just put it all in the crock pot. We walked away. We did so many other things. It's delicious. The meat is so juicy and tender. The flavors are ripe. The potatoes are nice and soft. You can, I'm, I'm cutting them with my spoon. And, and of course, our favorite, that sour cream, just tops it all off. And Tony, I know you're a sucker for that parsley too. We, we got that in there today. Did you see that? Did you see that? That's extra credit right there. So we got everybody covered with this one. Everybody's covered. Let's get together. Come on over. Let's try this together. We're going to do that soon. I promise. So everybody, thanks so much. And um, again, I really appreciate you um, just liking and subscribing and uh, helping to grow the channel because we want to do some great things here. So We'll see you again soon. We've got a whole new list of recipes we're going to be trying out. And um, and just happy to have you here. So have a great night. And we'll look forward to seeing you really soon. A picky eater just went back for seconds. I'm going to act like I didn't notice. <laughs> it's good. Is that good? Try it. You're going to love it.